So like with JDT, of course, uh, TMJ, you see his influence being in the club, and yep. then of course uh, Rajamilo Slango for uh, Slango. Um, how how similar do you think they are in their philosophies? Yeah, I guess um, they're both young. They're both ambitious. They want the club to be the best, which is amazing. Um, I think TMJ is probably a little more hands-on. You know, he's he likes his social media. He likes the I wouldn't say the limelight all on him, but he likes to be involved when, you know, Roger Muda Salango does not get involved. You know, he comes to training every now and then and speaks with the boys, but I wouldn't be surprised if I, you know, could see him at a cafe and have a, a completely normal conversation. He just comes across as that character. Approachable, um, kind of. Yeah, humble. really really good guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, it's refreshing, it really is, because sometimes you see the suits and you hear the title, the dato, yeah. and yeah. all this, and, and all of a sudden people shake, but Sometimes I think this this small little things uh, they make a big difference too. But again, though, if you become a dato, then you've suddenly got your influence on football is a lot stronger than yeah. If you don't have that title and you know yeah. absolutely nothing more than the next man on the street about football, yeah. But because of the title and the culture over here, you're more influential yeah. and people listen more, which seems, you know, but crazy. That's, that's why it's so important for these, you know, high-profile, well-respected characters to be involved. Mm. You know, it's. It's important that the the state the state clubs mm -hmm. are strong and and not politi politically driven, mm -hmm. you know, and and that's what is happening now with Selangor, and it's very refreshing. Do you think it's a good thing having so much money <laughs> in um, focused on maybe one or two teams in the league? The idea is that it brings the level of the rest of the league up, but the reality is that in the last few years it's just been Johor and the rest. You see the attendance is falling. There's a lack of interest, maybe. Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? Um, it's difficult to say. I think, I think uh, Johor spending the money mm -hmm. allows them to build a reputation outside of just Malaysia, which mm -hmm. has then obviously put more spotlight on Malaysia. So I think in that respect, it's, it's a positive. But yeah, there needs to be competition. They can't win the league by 20 points every year for the mm -hmm. next 10 years or it will become stale. Mm -hmm. Even the Johor fans will become stale because it's just another another win you know but I honestly believe that the, the, the gap is not so much it's not so big in terms of quality it's the consistency okay, yeah, yeah. and I think that consistency comes from the off-field uh, stuff and I think that's where training facilities better management um, mm -hmm. will impact on the field performances. Welcome obviously to this is awesome. I yeah, love this place. Yeah, it's really place. nice. It's amazing. Um, yeah. They've done a very good job and upgraded this facility. And one other thing I would like to add is that obviously we're at home here now. Yeah. And you're obviously going to come for the semi final at home. So mm -hmm. instead of the away white jersey, I have for you a home jersey. It's for me? Are you it's sure? For you, just for you. Unfortunately, for me? no. Unfortunately, we, uh, we <gasps> thought about it in PKS, no, so Salango, you know. So for you. <laughs> A home jersey. Um, Thank you, Taylor. This is such an honor. Look no at that. Worries. I think you better look better on me anyway. Um, I always liked the football before, but after I told my brother to watch football on TV and all, and then I started in, into the football. So. Okay, yeah. nice. And how long ago was this? Four years. Four years yeah. ago. And you, straight away you spotted Slango. Lah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So when you heard Taylor was joining Slango, mm -hmm. uh, did you, you know, do your background check on him? Did you yeah, stalk him a little bit? Yes. Did you? And I love his son, buddy. My son. Yeah, he's so cute. <laughs> yeah. He is. And congrats on your... Another one? Yeah. yeah thank oh, wow, you. you know. <laughs> she knows everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thank you very much. And yes, he is cute. And if you would like to have him for a couple of weeks, you can, because he's a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Babysitting, yeah? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're from Selangor? You're born No, I'm from KL. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. But my whole family is a fan of Selangor. Except for my dad, he's a fan of JDT. I don't know why. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, hopefully I make him very upset at the end of yes, this month. Yes, please. Yes. Please, <laughs> You've watched him play? You like his style? Yes. Thank and you. She has to say that. If you ever see the picture, like, um, you were so mad at one player, Berak player, and they said you were like Thanos. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. What was that? Thanos. Yeah. I know the Thanos. photo, yeah. But, yeah, in, the, in, the, game, so yeah, in the game against Perak, um, 
of course, we were trying to slow down the game a little yeah. bit. We were winning 2-0 at the time and they... If Adeo cut himself, he got oh, four stitches oh. and we threw the yeah. ball over the sideline to, so that he could get treatment. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't give the ball back to us. Ah, okay. So maybe, I, right. maybe I ran in a little bit aggressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I was lucky not to get a yellow card. Yeah. I, right. I threw him on the ground. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, but it's okay. He's my friend now. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of Solango this season? It's getting better than before with new player and new management. So mm -hmm. I think it's quite good for us Lango fans because we are quite like memuaskan. Uh, memuaskan to us fans because... Uh, satisfying. Ah, uh, yeah. Satisfying. satisfying, that's the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> new word you learned today. <laughs> yeah, satisfying for us fans because we have been waiting for this kind of player management for so long and finally this is the time, this is the season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... No, we as players also, we can feel that Selangor is building. Yeah. And it's good to hear you say this, that you also feel that the club is coming up. So, yeah. no, that's it's refreshing. It's an exciting time for the fans, must be. Do you think they can challenge JDT with the infrastructure now? Yes, of course. Yeah? I believe that Selangor can beat JDT. Yes. And, yeah. <laughs> How does it feel, though, to be at the club? in the club at this moment though of, of rebuilding and progressing once again. Yeah, of course. I mean, there's so much history with Selangor. But at the same time, I feel like I am now becoming a part of history because I can feel the excitement around the facilities, around Rajamuda, around new management. So, yeah, it's exciting. It's Sometimes you're at a club, um, and I had it in Australia, where I was there through the bad times. And then I would leave and all of a sudden a new owner would come in and invest all this money and the team would improve and it's like... You missed out. I la yeah. laid the foundations. Is that how you see it? To, no. They got rid of the dead weight and then things exactly. have improved after that. Exactly. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Funny just, that. you know. You spend one season at PKNS uh, and you realise PKNS is finished now. Yeah, there you season. go. So, <laughs> so you're so not one You've done well. Fire. You're a part of history too. <laughs> you're officially the last player yeah, to live. for yeah. last game. No, see, yeah. So I think, you know, to be a part of something that's new, refreshing and... It's really exciting and like Reem said earlier, that sometimes you associate football fanatics as males. Mm -hmm. Obviously you look at the ultras and it's, but in Selangor I see so many kids, so many females, I see so many, it's, it's a proper club like of families also. It's not just hooligans. Mm -hmm. Of course I see a little bit fighting with Perak <laughs> in the match the other day in the stands, but you know there's, it's exciting, it's a good club. What is the most frustrating game that you have been a part of? Frustrating game? Yeah. Did you know on the way here? Nick? <laughs> Nick. Yeah, it's all Nick. Yeah, Nick. Nick. Oh, was no, it not so you? Did Reem actually find this? No, you no, were. No, Nick. Okay. Oh, no, 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 okay. no. <laughs> they pulled out a video of uh, the game against KL. We won 3-2, but I gave this goal to Indra. You remember this? No. That is perfect. I've She's got my favourite fan. I've got copy. That's <laughs> <good>. <laughs> you don't yeah. need to I, gave, I, I made a very bad mistake. Um, and we conceded a goal. This was the most frustrating moment. Frustrating games, it's difficult. Um, there's been lots of talk about Selangor and conceding goals and, you know, no, we only had, I think, five or six clean sheets in the whole season and blah, blah, blah. But the frustrating part of that is that, you know, we, we conceded against KL. They got a penalty that still to this day, nobody knows what for. We won the game 2-1, but there's one clean sheet gone. Against Terengano in the 93rd minute, uh, Sarkunen, unlucky. He works so hard, scores an own goal, we lose 1 0. There's another clean sheet gone. Uh, against PJ City, they score a goal from 30 metres when we're 2 0 ahead with five minutes to go. That's just a freak, you know, I think it hit, a, it just went amazing. But all of a sudden, you take these three clean sheets, all of a sudden we have nine, our goal difference is good, and everybody says, wow, it's a Langor defence. You know, so for me, that is a little bit frustrating. So this obviously will need to be edited in about, oh, really? yeah. Yeah, just Couple under a month, months. actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'll be a 34. Uh -huh. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's pretty impressive. Very impressive. Very um, nice. And then a little timeline of 
of Selangor and the history of Selangor, which again is very important. To make history or to be on here, you know, would be amazing. I still see Robbie Cornplate's face everywhere. Everywhere I go in Selangor, I see Big yeah. Corny. <laughs> I've known him for a lot of years, played against him, but you know, at the end of the day, unless you win trophies, you can quickly be forgotten. Mm -hmm. It's reality in football. So, and yeah, like I said, we'll make that 34 in a month. Very nice.